Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday. Thursday, December 7th, 2023. Yes, so you can see my my another nativity right there. Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. Good morning, Paul and Sue, and some twinkling lights. Yes, so good morning and welcome. So glad that you're joining me this morning. Uh, yes, good morning, Jenny. Coffee cup in hand, Christmas coffee cup to be exact. So this is um, my pine bow that has a, it has decorations on it. It's for my mom because she, she'd be like, "Why didn't you put up? Why didn't you put up a tree?" And I'm like, "Oh, mom, trees, so much work." And it's actually buried in the little storage area that I have. So this is it. So uh, each one of those decorations has. Uh, some sort of meaning to me, including, I don't know if you can see, there's little, there's little ceramic mice that my aunt Carol made for us. Oh, I was wee, like maybe five or six. So I have one, my sister has one and my mom has one and they're all on that. She didn't make one for my dad. He probably got socks. I feel like dads get a lot of socks. Anyways, um, so, so Merry Christmas. I think that's the first time this season I've said it. So Merry Christmas. It's it's going to be a great season. It's going to be a great season because the Father loves us. Jesus, Jesus loves us. Right? And the Holy Spirit is going to guide us. It's going to be great. And uh, this, oh, thank you, Tanya. Uh, one of the things, um, so Advent, we we look forward to the coming of, of the Christ child, right? That's what Advent means. We are welcoming the coming of the Christ and so last week we talked about hope and how hope is not in a person. It's in, or hope is not in a thing or circumstance. It's in a person, the person of Jesus Christ. And I was like, yes. Right? And so this week we're talking about peace and, uh, and how that peace is based on who that person is. So we can have peace because our hope is placed in the person of Jesus Christ. And the verse that has just been circling, <laughs> circling, circling, circling around my mind is Isaiah 26, 3. He will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in him. He will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in him. And so we're just going to, I'm just going to unpack that a little bit. So let's pray, Lord God, as we unpack your word today, would you speak to our hearts? Because we need you. You are our hope. And you, there, there is everything that we need. And without you, we have nothing. So we need you. We ask that you would reveal yourself to us afresh and anew this morning. In your name, amen. All right, so Isaiah 26, 3, he, that's God Almighty, all right, God Almighty, the first and the last, the perfect one, right? He, the creator of all things, he will keep, right? Keep, so that means he's going to look after it. He's going to look after it. So God Almighty is going to look after, he will keep you, me, right? Whoever reads that passage, God Almighty is going to keep, right? Look after whoever's reading that passage, right? He will keep in what? Perfect. Perfect. No blemish. What's interesting is peace is a wholeness a soundness. It's uh, the Jewish word or the Hebrew word is shalom, which is not just a greeting, but it's so much more than a greeting. It's wholeness and healing and, and there's no brokenness. So I just love that. So perfect wholeness, right? Wholeness without blemish. And that's complete. That's not just in our minds, but body, soul, and spirit, right? That's the shalom that we're talking about. So God Almighty will look after 
you perfectly, giving you the wholeness, right? Body, soul, and spirit. He will keep in perfect peace him, you, me. He will keep in perfect peace him whose mind, mind, right? And often we just think about our thoughts, but our thoughts are so complex. And I think sometimes we don't realize how complex our thoughts are. And so often when I'm praying, I'm like, Lord, my mind, my conscious, that what I'm thinking about, my subconscious and my unconscious mind, right? Because subconsciously and unconsciously, there are things that have happened in our lives, influences that we've taken in. And even though they might not be in the forefront of our mind, they're subconsciously there and unconsciously there. We're not even aware and so it's important that we actually give our whole mind to the Lord, conscious, unconscious, and subconscious mind. So he will keep in perfect peace him whose full mind, right, surrendered, he will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast, resolute, completely committed, right? <sighs> fixed and unwavering. Thank you. Yes. Right? Fixed and unwavering. Take every thought and surrender to the Lord. Him whose mind is steadfast because why? He trusts in you. He, God Almighty, will keep, right? Look after he will keep in perfect wholeness. He will keep, he will look after the perfect wholeness of that person who trusts in him. Right? This is really good. This is really, really good, right? This is why we need to um, be thinking about this verse particularly at east or at christmas time right because we're going to be visiting family i already thought okay what's my list of things that need to get done and i'm like oh i just need to make the list and i can have some peace and it's like oh lord i need to make sure that my peace is coming from you and not the lists that i'm making and so it's like okay he will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in him, right? Because he trusts in the Lord Almighty. And, right, God is, I keep coming back to this verse too. God is not man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said and will he not do it? Has he spoken and will he not fulfill it? There is not. Um, Luke Luke says it this way. Luke 1, we're going to unpack it a little bit this Sunday. Um, no word from God will ever fail right nothing is impossible for god and so when my mind starts to become unraveled when i start to get a little anxious when things seem overwhelming i need to actually remember this verse because god doesn't change but i change right i change my mind is the one that gets um overwhelmed and confused and i forget and so I have to say, okay, he will keep, he will look after, he will provide, he will look after me, right? He will look after me. He will keep in perfect shalom, wholeness. When I trust in him, right? Steadfast, steadfast. So Lord, like, when my mind starts to go all wiry, Lord, what's in my unconscious mind? What's motivating me right now? What subconsciously am I dwelling upon? Um, what's at the forefront of my mind? And that actually is where sometimes we just need to sit with the Lord and allow him to sort out our thoughts. And as they come up, we need to give them to him so that he can deal with them. Like, this is how the peace comes, right? We can say, Lord, I just need your peace. And he's like, well, you're holding on to stuff. 
And so we need to actually give that stuff to the Lord. So sometimes we just need to stop, be silent, and just, okay, Lord, I'm thinking about this, 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 right? And then, okay, these are the emotions attached to all of those things. I am not feeling myself, Lord. I am not thinking the way I should be thinking to experience the things that you would have me because have me experience because I am holding on to things, right? I am not trusting in you. I am trusting in my own self, right? He will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. And so this holiday season, this Christmas season, got to keep this verse right out there. When we start to feel undone, we start to feel a little like, mm, you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. The next verse, verse four, is trust in the Lord forever for the Lord, the Lord is the rock eternal, right? He's the only one to put our faith and hope and trust in. We gotta hold on to these verses. We gotta tuck them into the nooks and crannies of our hearts and minds so that we can experience the fullness that he has for us this Christmas season so that we can be ready to meet those people that we actually don't really wanna meet, right? <sighs> but it comes from having our mind focus on the Lord and he will give us what we need because he gives us perfect peace. He might just surprise you. Let's pray. Lord, we need your perfect peace today. We need your perfect peace. So Lord, would you help our minds to be steadfast on you? Conscious, unconscious, and subconscious. Lord, what's moving around in there? Is there a sin that we're holding on to and we don't want anyone to find out about? Are we afraid of confessing? Is there an interaction that we are uh, brooding over or just in fear of, of that uh, engagement? Are our finances and family weighing on us? And it's creating some despair. Lord, would you show us what's hiding in the recesses of our mind? Or maybe it's right forefront. But it's knocking us off of our, out of our perfect peace. Lord, you welcome those thoughts because you want to bring healing and wholeness, which is peace to those thoughts. And so, Lord, help us today to surrender our whole mind to you. You will keep in perfect peace, perfect peace, him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. This is good news, Father. Help us, help us to hide it in our hearts today. In your name, amen. Right? What knocks us off of our peace? Sometimes it is an interaction that's coming up and we're like, right? Give that to the Lord. Sometimes it's a hidden sin. We haven't told anyone yet. And yet it's knocking us off our peace. Can I encourage you to confess it to the Lord? But also maybe you need to find a trusted friend and confess it. <sighs> right? Or maybe it's your family or a friendship that's just concerning you can you give that to the lord maybe ask him lord for an opportunity to speak into that or wisdom on how to handle it but he wants you to come to him with all this he wants you to have his peace perfect peace perfect peace so 
<laughs> Maybe you need the, the Lord to sort the files of your brain today so you can experience his perfect peace. I'm going to go for a paddle, which is why my hat is on because I didn't bother combing my hair. Because I'm like, why comb my hair if I'm just going to put a hat on? So, my dear friends, he will keep you in perfect peace when your mind is steadfast on the Lord. All right, that's it, that's all. Remember to like, share, go outside and help your community experience Christ. Bye.